Good evening, everybody. I'm Zach Tiger. Alabama hadn't played a game in Tuscaloosa since November 21st of last year, a blowout win over Charleston Southern. That all changed today, though, as the 2016 home opener was upon us and fans filled the stands to watch Alabama return home. But it wasn't the prettiest of homecomings for the Tide. Twelve penalties, offensive miscues, and a late fumble all added up to a disappointed Nick Saban, but the Tide still found a way to win. Taking to the second quarter now, Alabama has a 10-3 lead, but looking for more. Western Kentucky's Mike White drops back, fires one right into the hands of Eddie Jackson, makes some moves, and then waltzes into the end zone. Alabama goes up 17-3. Now in the third quarter, Jalen Hurts rolls out, finds our Darius Stewart who gets through some traffic. He's in for a score, and then Alabama starts taking control on offense. Now up 24-3 early in the fourth here. Bo Scarborough finds his way in following Mac Wilson, the linebacker, as a lead blocker. Scarborough punches it in, and Alabama takes a commanding lead. But Western Kentucky, here's their late touchdown. Alabama fumbles to give the ball back to the Hilltoppers, and Drew Eccles takes advantage, finding Lucky Jackson for their lone score. Alabama able to overcome their miscues. They win it big, 38-10, the final score. And I used the term disappointed to describe Nick Saban earlier, and that sentiment also rang true for the players following this afternoon's contest. WVOA 23's Brandon Cameron has more. Two weeks into the season, and Alabama's outscored its opponents 90-16. to And yet, after a 52-6 to win over USC in Week 1, Coach Saban said he didn't think the team actually played that well. Then, here in Week 2, at home against Western Kentucky, Alabama wins 38-10, to and yet Coach Saban said... He was disappointed. I don't know that I've ever been this disappointed after winning a game, uh, maybe ever. Um, so, but anyway, we, we have lots of work to do. We're going to play a lot better teams, and um, I didn't think we practiced very well this week. I didn't think we prepared very well for this game. I don't think we respected the team that we played. Uh, like I said before, you know, when you're arrogant, uh, it makes you complacent and uh, creates a blatant disregard for doing things right. And if we don't start doing things right, we're not going to have the kind of success that we're capable of. The defense seemed to play pretty well, only allowing a late fourth quarter touchdown with the backups mostly playing. And yet, even there, the defensive players said they weren't that good. We didn't play to the Bama standard. You know, we, we let up a whole lot of big plays and the offense didn't do what they needed to do. And so, you know, Coach, he's never happy. Even if we get a win, you know, we can't be satisfied, can't be complacent. You know, he always demands the best out of us, and we didn't give him the best today. Everybody see now. Let's see, if you don't, you don't go, you don't show up to work, that's what's going to happen. You, you, you're capable of losing to anybody. You know, we're not playing just to win. The teams I played on here that practiced and did enough just to win, they didn't accomplish nothing. Uh, talking never solved anything. Talking, talking won't win us a game. You know, I mean, we got to go out there and do it. Like I said, we got to get better. And so Alabama got its challenge in the Hilltoppers and what it hopes is a wake up call because next week the team travels to Oxford to take on Ole Miss who's looking for its third straight win over the Crimson Tide. At Bryant Denny Stadium in Tuscaloosa, Brandon Cameron, WVUA 23 Sports.